Fraja, Masha, good question. Sister, what should you do if you got a problem waking up for Fraja? Now that's a question for everybody. Because look, look, check this out. Hold up now. Smell it now. The sister got a good question. Because most of y'all that's in this room right here, y'all ain't made no Fraja this morning. How many people here made Fraja this morning? Tell the truth. Law Wagba, how many people didn't? Don't nobody want to raise their hand. <laughs> See? See? Alhamdulillah. Now the sister's question is, what should you do? Best thing to do is prepare yourself the night before to make Fajr. Make the Nia inside your heart the night before. Say, I want to make Fajr. Prepare yourself. You know, put your, you know, put your thobe out, put your, put your rug over there, and all that, and... You know, if, if you don't listen to that alarm clock, it ain't loud enough, get you one of them things that just ring like it, it ring like it fall off the, the, the thing. Brrr, you know, just like scare you, you know. They got them alarm clocks just like that. That's, it be so loud when it go off, it just make you like, like you got a nightmare. You just wake up, what's going on? You need one of them. You need maybe something to go off, just be so loud. And, and then don't put the alarm clock next to you. Because if you put the alarm clock next to you, when you what did you do? You hear it. You know, you do like. So put the alarm clock across the room. So when it go up, you got to get up. And you be a real fool to get up and put the alarm clock off and go back to bed. <laughs> so I say, prepare yourself with good Nia. Train yourself to make Fajr. Fajr is for soldiers. Fajr is for soldiers. It ain't, Fajr ain't no easy thing to do now. When you make Fajr on a regular basis, you soldiering. Allah, he loved that. But everybody can't beat that. Everybody can't beat the sheets. The sheets ain't easy to beat. They be so, like, find the time, them sheets really get warm. That's like you just getting there, you just getting in the next motion. Find the time, you just getting that in that next sleep. Boom. Shaitan say, the prophet says, let me give you the hadith for the brother, cut me off. Uh, the prophet says, Sam, when one of you goes to sleep, listen to this hadith. The prophet says, Sam said, hello. The prophet says, Sam said, when one of you goes to sleep, Shaitan ties three knots behind your ear. And while you're sleeping, Shaitan, he blows on those knots and tells you that sleep, the night is long. So, the Prophet Sallallahu said, when one of you goes to sleep, Shaitan ties three knots behind your ear. And while you're sleeping, he blows on those knots and tells you, say, sleep, the night is long. You got lots of time to sleep. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when one of you wakes up and sits up and says, SubhanAllah, then one knot is removed. Come loose. When you go make wudu, another knot comes loose. And when you pray, another knot is loose. And shaitan have no control over you for the rest of the day. And you got a good smell about your body and a good disposition the rest of the day. But for those of you who continue to sleep, Shaitan pees in their ear. He urinates in your ear. I don't know what Shaitan's urine smell like. <laughs> so the Prophet Sam said that Shaitan urinates in your ear. And when you wake up and the sun is in your face, see, you got a bad smell to your body. And you got a bad disposition. And Shaitan is with you for the rest of the day. So that means, hey, that's... You know, that's heavy. See, now you think about it now. When you get up and you make fajr, when you get up in the morning, first thing you say is, SubhanAllah. Get up on, in, on the side of your bed, rub your eyes, and say, SubhanAllah. So one thing, shaitan removed from you. Because now you're sitting up, right? You're sitting up. So the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, you hear that alarm clock, sit right up. Rub your eyes. Get your head together. Then after that, about, about 30 seconds, go right to the water. Don't be fooling around. Go right to the water. Wash up. Now you're, already half, you, you're halfway down the path. Go on and make that slot and then see how you feel. SubhanAllah. Then you can go on back to sleep. Because you already did the job on shaitan. You already got control of your day now. You got the barakah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you build up that fajr discipline, you build up that fajr discipline, when you miss fajr, you feel so disappointed. Don't you? But the people that don't have no fragile discipline, though they be oversleeping every single day, they don't even feel nothing. They ain't got no body cover with them.
So that's what I suggest for you. Get an alarm clock if you need help. Build up the discipline. Ask Allah. Make dua. Read Quran. Make preparation. Preparation. Fix your mind to make fajr. That's just like if you knew you had to go to court or you knew you had an appointment that next day. You had to get up at 7 o'clock because it was some money involved or your job that's involved. Is you going to miss it? Ah, because you're going to prepare for it. Is right? Same thing for the fajr.